Hello and welcome back to Back to the Future, the game, episode one. Let's continue. Well, now Edna has the hooch, the booze, the whiskey, the alcohol, you know, all that jazz. Damn it, McFly! Stop it. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. Oh, what's it about? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. About the other story. You make soup deliveries? You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I donate a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. <laughs> if you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Hmm. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless, drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless, drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Hmm. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Let's see, um... As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The Stay Sober Society. That's right! They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? Hmm. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. My pop is not the partying type. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? 
Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! But I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no! But think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Does he? Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Well, everything's going good so far. Are you sure this is going to work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Electro what? Could you repeat that in English? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? What? Sweet fancy Moses! It's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction! I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... We can uh, do Coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! I know that voice. Oh, I know that voice, this too. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel! Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! You don't know what to call Good. I can do this! What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? I got this. No one, father! That you know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? There we go. Mm. Just pay attention to what I say. I'm not true with you yet! I... I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish you would go on a diet. You don't know what... That's it. Yes. 
law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Ooh, I think I hit the wrong one. I got this. I thought you were a scientist. Emmett! Emmett, get the heck out of here. I can do this. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Uh-oh. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Fine. Oh, I get it. It resets each time. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? There you go. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? There we go. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. There. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Emmett, get back here! Oops. <laughs> You're going to find Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Oh, I guess it's a gas. Yeah, I hope so. Yep. Law may be your burning passion, father, but it is not mine. There we go. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Come on, just a little more. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. You're going to find out. Ah, uh, halfway there! Emmett! Keep up the good work! Alright, alright, come on! The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right! You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under! You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Pressure? You're a child. You don't know anything about pressure. You didn't I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Sunday, you you come. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. I hate this. Almost there. Uh, coming, father! Oh, come on! Once... Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! There is a flame inside me that cannot oh, be I get it. We have to go faster and faster. Gobbledygook, father. Stop being such a crank! How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? You said release valve, don't start that! Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. You said release Damn it. valve! You said release valve! Damn it, Emmett! By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. What? Oh, oh, now he's gonna throw us off? Is that what it is? What did you do? Emmett! Hated you, that's what I did. Why must you always scatter condescension my way? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Okay. What? Just pay attention to what I say. I am it. Hey, Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! There. 
Can't you see this is eating me up inside? If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. I'm not just another one of your staffers who's... Oh, come on! I thought you were a scientist. Damn it! I will freaking murder you. Law? What use as a microorganism for law? Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Law? What use as a microorganism for law? What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! Do you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish you would go on a diet. Oh, oh I'm afraid God. we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. You okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh. What? <laughs> Look, dude, if this place hasn't blown up by the shit you made me do, nothing's gonna make it destroyed. Eureka! Now all we got to do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the US patent office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the patent office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett... You're gonna be a great inventor. I think we might have just screwed up big time. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start. not supposed to be Duck! they're moving him to another facility for safekeeping oh I better go get a quote from the police chief what? paddy wagon intercepted suspect slain 
Then they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. I'm coming, Doc. You've written weirder. <laughs> Gas 17 cents. We can all wish. I've got to get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here and we'll talk later. Hmm. I guessed at that one. much of the tires, can we? Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? Whack the lock with the tire iron, dude. That's what I would do. They won't budge. No, you're okay. Whatever. Is there anything over here? No. <laughs> Well, we got a tire in our hand. Can we use the hubcap? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Hey, Doc. How you doing? Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out. Be careful, buddy. I'll be back! I'll wait right here! What's he doing here? Use it? Oh my god, do we get to whack him with this? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. else we can use? No. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. Gotta get some. There's an antenna up there. Come on, can we get that? Alright, let's try going back and hitting him with it. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm gonna need you to distract, man. Kit Tannen's driving the truck! Kit Tannen? That explains a lot! I'll be back! That ain't gonna work. I need a distraction! Leave it to me! Hey! Hey, driver! You're driving too fast! Yes. Watch how you take those curves! What are you- I object to your tone of voice! And I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable! Do you have a pillow I can sit on? Hey! I'm talking to you, driver! 
Don't ignore me! You! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the streak. How did you know that? I have my sources. Alright, now we can get him the heck out of here. Because this seems like a place we don't want to be any more than he doesn't want to be here. Stand Get back, Doc. Kind of a dick. Ah, oh. I have a shield. Eat lead, Sagan. Son of a bitch! Language! <laughs> Sorry about that, Doc. We need something to get rid of these cops! You're not gonna like it! You're not gonna like it. Oh! This is a rescue! Uh, that's the idea! Let's see, what do we got? After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Doc! Oh. Any, ideas? any ideas? Nothing, but none of them are applicable to this situation! Let's see. Hit the throttle! The throttle! Fly! Oh! Bye bye, Tannen! You really are a bad oh, luck man, huh? Fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Never mind. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! Next time! On Back to the Future. In the next episode. Ah! Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Oh, Mr. it is? says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to wait till 2010. Oh, wait. No, we won't. I'll see you guys next time for more of the game. Definitely so far. I enjoy it, though I kind of wish, uh,. You know, the um, controls weren't so wonky. Again, I don't know if we got the 30th anniversary, if this is the, like, upgrade or not, or if there is a way to get the upgrade on PC. If anyone knows, let me know. But uh, other than that, you know, I've got more things I need to go record, and I have an animation to go finish. I totally didn't do this just because I did Michael J. Fox. 2010, all rights reserved. Is there anything at the, bo at the end as a bonus?
Nope. See you guys next time. Bye. Take my